Ahoy Vashikni, it's Jen from Dream Prague. Over the years, I've spent a lot of time dissecting bizarre Czech traditions, from whipping a carp at Easter to putting girls in the bathtub at Christmas. Actually, I think those are reversed. Anyway, I mean, truly any less strange though. <laughs> Now that it's March, it's time for the Czechs to try, try, and try again to chase winter away to make room for spring. And the Czechs do this several times, typically by burning things. The more famous holiday you might already be familiar with is Chaudanice, or Witch Burning Day, which occurs on April 30th each year. The Czechs have a huge bonfire where they burn witches at the stake and celebrate the end of winter with beer, sausages, music, and a big party. I made a video about this in case you want to learn more about it, but there's also another lesser known Czech tradition centering around the death of a witch. Well, actually, she's a goddess, but same concept. And this occurs in March. This one is known as Deadly Sunday, or in Czech, Smrtna Neděle. This pagan tradition was typically held on the spring equinox, but as often happens with pagan traditions, it was moved to compete with the rise of Christianity, and it's now held on the second Sunday before Easter. This obscure tradition isn't commonly practiced anymore in Czech cities, but it still lives on in smaller Czech villages, especially in the countryside of the Moravia Silesia region. It's mostly celebrated by school children nowadays, but it can be a spectacle for the whole village. So who do the Czechs try to kill on Deadly Sunday? That would be Morana, the Slavic goddess of death or as the Czechs sometimes call her, Smrtka. Appropriately, Marana is also the goddess of winter and everything that comes with it, cold, frost, and barren lands. According to ancient legend, Marana begins her reign each year on the winter solstice, freezing the fields and ensuring nothing would grow for months to come. The problem with Marana is that come springtime, she doesn't want to leave. And if you've ever experienced winter in the Czech Republic, you know how true that is. So the Czechs must forcibly end her reign in order to make room for Vesna, or the goddess of spring, to return and bring the fields and the rest of the world back to life. So how exactly do the Czechs end Morana's reign? Well, they kill her, of course. The Czechs aren't a violent people, but when it comes to goddesses and witches, they're more than happy to roll up their sleeves and get the job done. And this time, the girls are in charge. A bit of a change from that Easter whipping tradition, huh? So in order to drive Morana from the fields, the village schoolgirls parade around town carrying an effigy of the goddess. This is usually homemade by the school children themselves, typically with straw that's been attached to a few pieces of wood or some branches put together in the shape of a body. The effigy is then put into a costume, sometimes a wedding gown or a traditional Czech embroidered dress called a kroy. There are really no rules for how Marana should look according to legend. She can appear as anything from a young bride to an old hag. If you can't make it to the celebrations, but you're curious about Morana herself, you can find a few effigies on display in museums across the Czech Republic, with the most famous one being housed at the Ethnographic Museum here in Prague. Although I'm sure that this is somehow bad luck because she was supposed to be burned. Anyway, getting back to the ritual. The young girls parade around town carrying the effigy along with some evergreen branches and sing folk songs with their final destination being Marana's intended disposal site. That's right, the Czech village girls are about to commit murder before they've even graduated from basic school. According to legend, Morana should be tossed into a river or a stream and drowned. But if the town doesn't have a body of water, the effigy is just burned instead. Sometimes she's set on fire before being thrown into the water. You know, just to be sure. So the girls are carrying Morana's body to a bridge or maybe a high rock near the river so they could eventually drown her. 
Once she's tossed off the ledge and hits the water, it's important that no one look at her. Looking at Marana after she's already in the water is said to be a bad omen. It can lead to anything from bad luck for the person who looked at her, to a bad harvest, or even an epidemic during the coming year. So don't look at her. Likewise, it's bad luck if one of the girls in the parade trips during the ceremony or directly afterwards. So tie your shoes. Comforting that the fate of the coming year depends directly on schoolgirl's ability to put one foot in front of the other. And with that, assuming the ritual goes smoothly, winter is sent away and spring can begin. But not really, because they'll still burn a witch on April 30th to drive the winter away again. Just for good measure. It's almost like none of these rituals actually work, and the Czechs are just looking for another reason to drink beer. Like I said before, this ceremony has been waning in popularity over the recent years, and it's rare that you'll hear anything about it if you live in Prague, for example. But the tradition is still holding strong in some small towns. If you'd like to experience it for yourself, you can head to the Czech village of Rimov or the smaller towns in the Visočina region on Deadly Sunday. And this isn't only celebrated in the Czech Republic. Remember, Morana is the Slavic goddess of death meaning this ritual, especially in its early days, was more widespread across most of the Slavic countries, even though it might look a little different in each place today. These days, it's most commonly practiced in places like Slovakia and Poland. But even if the Czechs don't celebrate it much anymore, the tradition has a strong history here. There's evidence of it hidden throughout Prague, if you know what to look for. The street Na Morani, which runs right along the Vltava River, is named after Morana, as is the tram stop Moran in the same area. And before Christianity gained popularity, there was also a grove of trees dedicated to her near Karlova Namjesti, until it was cut down by King Charles IV in 1347 to make room for a monastery. But there you have it, another very odd, semi-obscure ritual practiced by the Czechs. Surprise, surprise. Have you ever seen this tradition in action? Let me know in the comments below. Uvidíme se příště. Ahoj.